Hey there, finally the much awaited demo video of Video Essence is here. Now I'm gonna show you guys around, okay? So we're here on my WordPress dashboard and as you can see, the site is running the Video Essence theme, which is a perfect combo with the Video Essence plugin. So I am actually on the plugin right now and you see that we have some campaigns created here, but if this was your first installation, then this would pretty much be empty. So all we need to do is come up here where it says discover and curate. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button. Now everything with this product is smooth and sleek. This is not some hush hush coding job. The system has actually taken months to build and perfect to this stage. And what's really cool is that Video Essence lets you control everything, okay? It doesn't force some stupid garbage content down your throat. So you have full control as to the quality, the engagement, and how trendy or hot your content is. And that's what I think is the single most amazing part of this product. But there's even cooler features which you're gonna see throughout this demo video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in a trending keyword. Now, this could be online marketing, local marketing. I mean, we could search for iPhone, dogs, pets, uh, investing in gold, anything you can think of, okay? But for this specific example here, I'm gonna go ahead and use something like uh, holidays, resorts, vacations, okay? So I'm gonna type in vacations and I'm gonna click discover. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna go search YouTube for relevant videos pertaining to vacations. Now, we also have other sources that we can pull these videos from. So if I pull this menu down here, you see that we can pull from Vimeo as well as Daily Motion. But guess what? There's even more. Let's say that we want these videos to be the most updated. Well, we can come over here and we can do it by upload date. So obviously, if we go and pull videos that happened in the last hour, then those are very updated. We can also choose by length or we can sort by popularity. So we can only show videos based on their video rating, video count, relevance, as well as their upload date, okay? I think you guys get the idea. So now what we do is we select the videos that we want featured on our post. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this guy here. And you see that it says that I've now chosen one video. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose this here. This looks interesting to me. So we have two videos that have been chosen. Now if you look up at the top here, you see that we have four simple little steps. Right now we're on the first step, which is discovery. Then we're gonna build this out. We're gonna build authority and we're going to publish it. There's some real magic that happens right inside of the authority tab. I'm gonna show that to you here in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start building now. And now you see that we are on the second step. This is very easy. This is gonna be very familiar to a lot of you. So what this plugin did was it went and it pulled in the post title and the description for this video here. But guess what? We can go ahead and change this to whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this for my post title. And then I'll just go ahead and copy this for my description. And we can come down here and add our own keywords. So I'm gonna say vacations, holidays, and resorts, okay? And then we can do the same thing for our tags. Vacations, holidays, resorts. Now, if you look down here, we have some SEO settings. So we can set it up so that this post is not indexed in the eyes of Google and we can have it to where it is either no follow versus do follow. Pretty self-explanatory. But check this out. We come down here to this bottom field and what we can do is enter a keyword and it'll go and search Twitter for the most relevant posts. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in vacations. And now you see we have tweets that are relevant to this keyword. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and see this little box that opens up over here. I'm gonna choose this one and I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one. Okay, so I chose my tweets, but guess what? We know that Google Plus is a big player when it comes to authority as well, so I'm gonna scroll down here, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna type in vacations, I'm gonna click search, and now the tool went and searched Google Plus. So we have this guy here, 
and you see here's a Google Plus box. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one, and I'm gonna choose this one. I just chose three posts off of Google Plus, as well as Twitter. Now, remember I told you about the magic. Video Essence allows you to take complete control of your content, but it gets even better, okay? And this here is cutting edge. I absolutely love it. It's a really powerful feature that turns your regular post into a profit generating machine. So the goal of what we do is to make money, right? And the reason why we work hard to get traffic to our sites and get them to go viral and get a huge audience is because we wanna generate sales and make a lot of profits. And I'm sure you'd agree with me. Well, with Video Essence, you'll be just one click away from achieving that goal because we built this all-in-one system that changes everything in your marketing and positions you for massive profits. That all happens right here. And I'm gonna show you this here in a minute, but before I do, I know I built up the suspense, we can also change out this image right here. So if we wanna use something different than what YouTube is using, if we wanna brand ourselves, we can go ahead and change out this image, okay? So let's come over here and we're gonna click on Create ROI Campaign. Now, check this out. You have five ROI campaigns that you can choose or you can actually set all five of them to be executed in the same post, all right? So I'm gonna show you this. The first one is we have a lead capture form. So we can have it to where the lead capture form actually appears inside this video. Also, we can set up a video ad. So with a video ad, they're watching the video that we've extracted from YouTube, and then we can have it set up so that it shows our video. And there's a lot of cool features with this. I'm gonna show you how that works. We have annotations. So if we want annotations to appear on the video, that's how we do it. Call to action buttons, so you see that we can go ahead and display buttons on the video. And then finally, we have it set up so that we can display our own banners on the video. But remember, we can have all five of them going at the same exact time. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose lead capture form. I'm gonna say customize. So I can come over here, I can overwrite this, get access now. I could do the same thing with the description. I can change the text on the button. I can go ahead and choose the button color. Okay, a lot of options here. We can choose the background overlay color. All right, if we wanna do that, there's tons of things we can do here. And then if you see here, we actually have API integrations with the top autoresponders. Right now I have it set for constant contact. That's fine, but we can have it set up so that this opt-in form appears at a certain point during the video. I come over here, I click this, and I can say make this opt-in form appear 15 seconds in the video. Or let's go ahead and do it shorter. We'll do something like five seconds just to kind of show you. And then we can have the opt-in form appear if the video is paused. We can have it ask for their name. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. And see this little link right here that says skip? If for some reason they don't want to enter their information here, then they don't have to to see the rest of the video. So that's up to you. We can have it to where there is a skip button or maybe we want to force them to enter their email before they can continue. I'm going to go ahead and click add campaign to video. And you see that now we have a lead capture form. Now let's go ahead and create another campaign. So I'm gonna click on this here. This time I'm gonna do a video ad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and customize this. And here's how this works. We can go ahead and put in a video ad source. So let's say that we're actually selling Disney World vacations and this is our video here. Okay, we have a strong call to action. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy my URL and I'm gonna go ahead and put that here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in my target URL. That's the URL that'll appear after this button's click. So I'm gonna go ahead and do myvacationpackages.com, book your vacation. That's what's appearing on the video. I want a orange button, and we can make the video ad appear right away, or we can go ahead and set it up so that it is delayed as well. And we can also have it set up so that the skip option appears just by checking this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this campaign. 
And now you see that I have two ROI campaigns and I can go ahead and put in the other three if I choose to do so, but that's good enough for the sake of this video. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna go over to the authority section. So on this dashboard, we really get the content spiced up with massive authority because remember to be great, you need to associate yourself with the big guys and that's the kind of authority that you get with the Video Essence plugin. So we know that search engines love authority and we're gonna give them a large dose of it while providing an invaluable experience to our audience at the same time. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna type in vacations. I'm gonna click search. And what this is doing is going out there and it's finding the big boys. So you see that we have Orbitz, Expedia, Apple Vacations. Normally, depending on the niche, you would see like Wikipedia, uh, med.com, you'd see some of the big guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this guy and I'm gonna choose this guy, and I'm gonna choose this guy. Now I'm gonna scroll down here, and we're gonna do the same thing for related videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in vacations. I'm gonna click search. I'm gonna show you exactly what this is doing and how powerful it really is, okay? So we'll come down here, and we'll go ahead and choose I don't know, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna come over here to publish. And here is the final screen that opens. You see that we are now on the final step. The first thing I can do is go ahead and choose my category. I'm gonna go ahead and say test category for now, but we could add a category right here inside the plugin. And then we have some options. We can either publish this post immediately or we can schedule it for later. You can see that I can choose a date and time. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's publish this immediately. You see that there is our Twitter post. There is our authority content. Here's our related videos. Everything is here that's gonna go into the post. I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. And now you see that this is the post we just created. It's now over here on the dashboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click view post. I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like. So here's our categories up here. Here is our beautiful video that we just pulled in. You see that we have some social media uh, sharing icons here. Here's the related videos that we pulled in. Here are the tweets. Here's the uh, content from Google+. We have some authority content down here at the bottom as well. And then let's go ahead and see the real magic. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the video, but I wanna make sure you understand what's going to happen. As soon as I play this video, remember my video should appear first. And then if I pause the video, remember we also have another ROI campaign. We should see an opt-in form and that opt-in form should appear 10 seconds in the video. We set up two ROI campaigns for this one post. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and play the video. There is my video. If I pause it, there is my opt-in form. This is the same opt-in form. That will appear 10 seconds into the campaign and I can go ahead and say no, skip this form and then you see it goes back to the video. So everything's included with this plugin. Site structure, engaging content, we've automated and synced everything together into one major system and this is everything every smart marketer will ever need to make a lot of money. Now I'm gonna come back over here to the dashboard. I'm gonna show you a couple more things and then I'll cut you loose. Number one, this now probably makes a lot of sense to you. Here's the existing campaigns that we have created with Video Essence. And you can see that it is tracking our conversion rate. So you can see with this guy right here, we have two ROI campaigns set up. This one here has had a 25% conversion rate. This one here hasn't had any views as far as the video ad goes. So if you set up five ROI campaigns, you're gonna have five different statistics for each video, okay? And you can come over here, you can delete it, you can unpublish it, you can view the post. You can come over here and you can actually edit the campaign as well. Also, if we come over here to settings, this is where the API integration was happening with the autoresponder. So you see that we have constant contact, eye contact, AWeber, get response, MailChimp, but you can also just come over here and paste in your HTML form as well if the autoresponder of your choice is not listed. Couple more things, if you come down here, you see that we have different uh, options for your video player. So you can choose different skins. 
and this is universal for all of your posts. So if I wanna have a blue player, that's how we do that. We have some options for your player controls. So you can show on hover, you can display the controls always, you can hide the controls. And then for branding purposes, you can come over here and you can actually have a logo displayed on your video as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my logo. I'll choose this guy right here. I'll say insert into post. And right now it's in the top right position. We can also put it in the top left position. And then if we want this logo to be clickable on the actual video itself, we can go ahead and do that as well. So I can go ahead and put in any URL here and then I can save the settings. And that's how this whole entire thing works.